Hi, KG2. How are you all today? I hope you are all doing great. Our math lesson for today is going to be about compare numbers using numbers to 10 and compare groups to 10. Both of them are almost the same, okay? But in other words, we will um, learn today how to compare numbers to 10 by different ways. For example, we will compare the numbers to 10, from 1 to 10, by counting and matching, and we will use the number line also to compare which number is greater and which number is less than the other number. Ready? Let's get started. <clears throat> we will start with the happy faces. I know you're all familiar with the happy faces now, right? Okay. First of all, we will compare these numbers by counting them. Let's count the red happy faces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six happy faces, red happy faces. Okay, let's count the green. One, two, three, four, and five. So here <clears throat> we have six happy faces. And here we have how many? Five. Five happy faces. Okay. Now let's compare between the two groups to see which group is greater than the other one. The first thing we will do, we already counted, we wrote the numbers, but now let's match each red happy face with green happy face. So one with one, two with two, three with three, four with four, and five with five. Now, do you notice that this one doesn't have another green happy face to be matched to? Mm -hmm. So this means that the red happy faces are more or greater than the green happy faces. Why? Because here we have one extra red happy face. So the red happy faces are greater than, or the number of the red happy faces is greater than the number of green happy faces. This means that number six is greater than number five. And also we can say that number five is less than number six, okay? All right, another way to compare, we can use the number line. So here we have a number line from one to 10, from one to 10. Now, according to the numbers of the happy faces, we talked about, or we had five and six. Remember, we had five green happy faces and six red happy faces. Now, on the number line, I want you to see which number comes first, five or six. Yes, five. So five comes before number six. This means that five is less than six. Or we can say five is smaller than six. And also we can say that six is greater than number five because it, come, it becomes where? After number five. That's why we can say that number six is greater than number five because it comes before 
num uh, sorry after number five on the number line so this was our math lesson or maybe three math lessons uh for this week okay and it was about how to compare the numbers to 10 by matching counting and number line i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and see you next time bye